Hey guys, so we're here in Toronto with Rodney Hicks, who's um, in town for a couple more days doing a show called Noah's Great Rainbow. Just finished it. Just came out of it. Do you want to tell everybody what the show's about? No. No, um, <laughs> the show is about the unlikely friendship between a 27-year-old Rwandan genocide survivor and an 80-year-old Holocaust survivor and uh, the 27-year-old's uh, murder trial. It's a comedy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty intense role. We got to see it the other day. Um, so, we were talking about this a little bit before. What kind of things do you go through when you're trying to create a character like that? That's the word. You have several characters. Yeah. You have to um, such intense you, you, you know, it, it's, uh, you just take each rehearsal day by day and you just, uh, you, you know, you, you research copious research first uh, and foremost. So like, as much as you can, and then when you think you have enough, you go further, you know, with the research, and then, you know, um, and then, like, I'm a big dictionary person, like, uh, I never want to, if it's a word that I generally know the definition for, especially a piece like this, it's such a sophisticated, smart piece, uh, I, I tend to look those words up, because the exact definition changes the course of what you're saying, you know, and so, therefore, it doesn't become and so how did you exactly get involved with this show? Yeah, I don't know. No. Um, they called me, uh, the <laughs> casting director called me in New York about um, a week before I came out here and said, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, um, I'm going to do Saigon. At the time I was up for a, a play in New York uh, and uh, that, didn't, that didn't happen, but we didn't know if that, was, that wasn't going to happen at the time. And I said, I don't think I'm doing anything, actually, um, until April. And he, this is in February. He's like, well, would you want to, or the end of January, would you want to uh, come to Toronto and do this new play? And uh, I was like, what's it called? No, it's Great Rainbow. I'm like, what? I was like, what kind of title is that, dude? Yeah. So then when he told me what it was about, I was like, well, send me the script. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got the script, and uh, I really related to it, you know? and. Uh, and then uh, I talked with the director and the writer over the phone and uh, read some scenes for them. And uh, the next morning, 8 in the morning, they called and said they want to fly out in three days. Two days, uh, really. And, uh, and I liked the script, so that was... Very, very quick then. Yeah, very quick. This is your first time here? First time in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. and you liking it? I like it. I, I haven't uh, gotten to see much here. It's okay, and I look like crap right now because Wait, I'm tired. You look so, great. You know. <laughs> so a lot of people wanted to know what your um, rehearsal process, what your audition process and everything with Rent was like, um, what you did. Oh yeah, okay, we'll go back from the beginning, the rehearsal, I mean the audition. Yeah. I told you the story yeah. at, at uh, Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> it's a vegetarian place. When I first went Good there, food. I didn't know it was vegetarian, and I ordered a cheeseburger. I didn't know it was vegetarian. And I got it, and it was gray. And so I was like, this is a cheeseburger. And I ate it. OK. So <laughs> so to answer your question, um, my first audition for Rant, I was 21. And uh, I no one knew what the show was about. You know, we had this like cassette demo of Jonathan singing uh, you know, some of the songs. Get it, you know. I mean, you got it, but you were like, "What is this?" And Jesse Martin and I—he was at the audition with me. He was uh, sitting. He's like, "What is this? I don't know what this is. You know what this is?" And I was like, "I, I was 21, so I was like, it's gonna be great, <laughs> you know." Yeah. And um, but actually, I said, "I don't know." So uh, I sang, "This is the moment." And looking back on it, I'm like, "What the?" So uh, this is the moment, and uh, then they said, "Do you have anything more R&B pop?" Uh, rock and I said, oh, yeah, I've uh, on the wings of love. Sing that, and then they were like, now we're talking. Okay, great. And then uh, they had me dance a little bit. Now, mind you, the original breakdown said late twenties, early thirties, twenty one. So I said, I know what I'll do. I'll paint <laughs> my goatee. And at that time, I couldn't grow facial hair. Yeah. So, so I could grow I'm facial hair, right? So uh, mascara 
all from like all around here. It was I thought it was cool. What did I know? Um, so they saw this. So then uh, I then do the uh, then they asked me to dance. I'm doing some break dancing and stuff, you know, windmilling. I take off my cardigan sweater and uh, 